Wisconsin is going to announce a plan in the State of the Union to raise $320 billion in new taxes on the wealthy. That's over 10 years. Capital gains taxes are going up. Uh, with this new revenue, he's going to do such things as uh, <clears throat> provide free community college and so forth uh, for people, new tax breaks for working families, increased uh, child care credit. I, I would just ask you this, Mr. Pfeiffer. Do you in any way, shape, or form believe that a new Republican <laughs> Congress is going to do what a Congress that had Democrats and Republicans in control would not do? Uh, I mean, is this for real? And that was Bob Schieffer on Face the Nation yesterday. It should be noted that Mr. Schieffer has the highest rated Sunday morning talk show uh, by a country mile, basically, and one of the few nonpartisan old school inquisitors da out there. And that was a great question that he asked Dan Pfeiffer. And then we're going to talk to Noah Rothman about this a little bit more. Noah, of course, is the associate editor of HotAir.com and a former Mediaite columnist, award-winning, I believe, in some capacity. Noah, how are you? Doing quite well, Joe. Thank you. All right. Good to see you again, sir. So help me out here. And, and we, we played Schieffer before, and I'm going to expand on this thought for a moment. Last I checked, the midterms uh, saw Republicans taking the Senate, adding more seats in the House. Uh, they control two-thirds of the government. Uh, I'm not quite understanding how the president is going on such an offensive here when he doesn't seem to have the political clout to do it. Educate me, Noah, please. Yeah, the frank answer to uh, Bob Schieffer's question, is this going to happen, is no, uh, it's not. This is essentially positioning. Uh, and a lot of the president's allies in the press, including Cody Roberts and uh, Neil Irwin over at the New York Times, have noted that this is a positioning for eventual negotiations with Republicans over uh, broad-based tax code reform in the coming year, but also positioning the Democratic Party for the post-Obama era, uh, which looks to be a distinctly populist era. And uh, this is something that uh, this is frustrating Hillary Clinton. She, according to people who are covering her campaign, she's very sensitive over the charge that she's too close to Wall Street, too close to, uh, for example, uh, the Walton family. So this is something that's going to frustrate Democrats uh, going forward. And the populist uh, um, approach to tax reform and soaking the rich, as it were, uh, via capital gains increases and reforming the estate tax without calling it reforming estate taxes uh, is something that's going to resonate with the Democratic base. So that's essentially what their what their approach is. It's a wish list. So 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 no. What, what what you're saying is that that community college won't be free for for all. That that this is just window dressing, unfortunately, for America's youth. Uh, according to Americans attack for tax reform, and actually I think there needs to be a little bit more investigative reporting on this. But uh, one of the more onerous. Uh, elements of the president's reform approaches to uh, tax uh, 529 college saving plan. So if you move previously uh, after 2001 tax reform, you could put money into a 529 savings plan for college. It was pre-tax money. You could take it out uh, without it being subject to taxation. That might change. So if the Americans for Tax Reform uh, report is true, it would uh, mean that the president is taxing college savings in order to pay for free college. So for people who actually saved for college, you'll be penalized for, for that approach. It's, it's uh, Some would call it obscene, and I think that's a, that's a fair thing to say about something that you distributed. Well, no, we, we know each other to a certain extent, so you know that I have a young daughter, and I literally, just a couple of weeks ago, opened up a 529, and if that's going to be used to redistribute over to folks that can't necessarily afford college, I mean, that, that, that just sounds to me political suicide. Hopefully, we do dig into this more, and, and we do see that. So, uh, just, we, we only got about 20 seconds, unfortunately. Now, we never have enough time uh, when we do speak. Uh, what do you think about the Supreme Court decision on gay marriage and how that'll affect the 216 race? Only 20 seconds, unfortunately, so keep it pithy. Well, yeah, whatever, whatever the, the court decides, one way or the other, and there's some dispute after what they're going to decide, it really is going to move the issue. Uh, the Republicans on the conservative side are going to adopt the hardest line position they can, which is to get the government out of the gay marriage business, out of marriage business at all, which means return the gay marriage issue to the states. Uh, it really does settle the issue eventually. There will be a lot of rhetoric, but it settles the issue. 
Absolutely. Well, Absolutely. either way, uh, I know you'll be watching tomorrow night. Uh, we all at Mediaite will be watching as well. There's usually a thousand things that go on around the cable news coverage, as you know, that, that ends up being extraordinarily and unintentionally entertaining. So, uh, no, again, appreciate you joining us. He's the associate editor of HotAir.com. Read all of his columns because he puts more work into it than most writers I know. Actually, really digs deep in terms of research. We don't see that too often anymore. Noah, thanks so much again. Appreciate it, Joe. Have a good one. Sure. And hey, up next, former U.S. Associate Attorney General and law partner of former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. She'll be watching tomorrow night as well. Webb Hubble, he joins us here on the Steve Malzberg Show. This is Joe Concha filling in for Steve Malzberg on this Martin Luther King Monday. Back with more in just a moment.